This year was dominated by COVID-19, but there was still some great paragliding to be had if you pushed hard enough against the gravity of the situation. Let me share some flying joys from this year. At the end, I'll give away some presents and show you how you can win a great little camera so you can make a highlight reel just like this next year. There's a little ridge called Bow Peep right near the coast. If the air mass is good, you get convergence with the sea air. And if you're even luckier, you can ride the invisible curtain of lift all the way to standing and back. Somewhere along this line, it's going to be the sea breeze front line. Whoop. I spent the whole day in the air and spiraled down to the van. Chuffed. I joined my friend John on the Isle of Wight for some island style firmling and pristine soaring. all the way back along the cliff top to my campsite. Sometimes it's more satisfying to achieve a glide in difficult conditions. As the day faded on Pandy, I took a chance to glide over the back and reached Crick Howl without needing a ride. It still gives me a thrill to be an aviator and devise a successful hike and fly route through uncertain terrain. That ability was tested in Scotland when we were given a two-day task through the Highlands. Camaraderie, wide open landscapes and flying. I'll never forget holding onto a wind-blown curler with a chance at threading an unlikely line to go. Och hi! On the way back, I visited Parlick for the first time. What a great sight. This has got to be one of the best in England. With an easy access, wide range of slopes and thermal fields in all directions. Just testing out the gear. <laughs> I challenged my friend Alan to a half marathon with heavy equipment during the Dragon Race. It's not a sensible plan, <laughs> running 23k with a bag on your back. So this is where it really hurts. The feeling of finally climbing out on the tandem near Talgar was sublime. So we've gone grey, which means we're the first to get a turn point, maybe. We'll see on live tracking. Let, let's pretend we're the first. Yeah. We're the first! We're awesome! <laughs> <laughs> After avoiding a wind-blown suffer fest at the X Lakes by a cunning diversion to the pub. Good gosh, I can do an escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loving this whole bit. So welcome to day two. I was able to escape from the pain of the hard knot pass by climbing out and gliding into goal. Three beers to that. 
the next race in Snowden was spectacular. Carving a line along the convergence clouds was the highlight of my year. I can't wait for the next Eximui, even if I can't pronounce it. Even my local sites like Mount Cabern delivered some unforgettable moments, like playing with the convergence clouds and gliding into the sunlight. I took a chance to get rid of my harness altogether to dance over Devil's Dyke. My cross-country year ended with a delicate climb from Bo Peep again, where I spent an afternoon perfecting the art of herding the clouds. The sky is unlimited. The sky is clean. And with what was going on in the cities during 2021, it was the safest place to be. I've also been kept motivated through this year by you guys. Some great comments were posted on my channel that earn prizes. Jim Astley, Derek Weeks, Mark Frazier, Marcus Schadwald, Gavin Beverly, Andrew Roberts. If your name was called out, email me to collect your prize of a free Alps ebook or a full month membership in my flying academy. The academy has a big library of videos now and you get access to my instructional chat room and members discounts. And this month you have a chance of winning my amazing little go-to camera. I often run giveaways for my members. You can also buy a membership for a friend and set the date that you want the gift card to be sent. Speaking of gifts, my friend Emilios released a really great book this year. It goes into details about all the gear and offers a clear overview of Hike and Fly. This is a great preparation for anyone who isn't familiar with a mountainous environment. He's included many references for further study and he writes with a sense of humor that will carry you right through to the end of your epic quest. You can get the ebook via the link or there's a print version on his website. After that, you're ready for your adventure. So I wish you a Merry Christmas and a very flyable New Year. We survived 2021. See you in the sunshine. <laughs>